Howdy, y'all. I'm going to feel weird about doing this video, but um, I feel like I should do this video, and I don't know why. But uh, it's basically a cancer patient's plea for some more subscribers. Um, <clears throat> sometimes it feels like uh, YouTube kind of blocks me after a while. It's like yeah, I get a, a bunch, and then it's like, well, something happens. It's more like it, almost like they're, they're, you know, not investigating, but, you know, making sure that these people actually subscribe or you know, whatever. I don't know. It's like I'm one little dude, but, you know, I don't know. And I'm probably paranoid, and it's probably the chemo that does it. And, and uh, I get to go back on the chemo again next Monday, so you can stay tuned for more chemo weirdness by then. I'm hoping to get more normal before I go back. So uh, normally Thursday um, before next Monday. So one week from today, uh, I, I go back. But So in a few days, like Wednesday, I'll be, mm, and then Thursday, I'm pr pretty much back to normal usually so we'll find out what goes on there but i really would like to grow this channel and uh there's lots of reasons for the uh, thousand subscribers one it's a b-hag one it's uh i didn't think i'd ever get there one i didn't think i'd get to 100 um and thank you guys so much for getting me there um and i'm so close to 200 it's it's you can almost like reach out and grab it but uh like i said something seemed to us have stopped in the past couple of days and I, I keep trying to rack my brain about what to do for videos and I don't I don't know I mean I'm just trying to do what what I, I'm you know like I said you guys have been like my shrink so you know sometimes these things just getting this out there sometimes helps me just because you guys come back with the you know super amazing you know really um insightful things about how YouTube works. I, I've learned a lot from just, you know, listening to other people about their YouTube channels. So it's been, it's been weird, but uh, it's been informative and, and just very odd and strange, you know, but, uh, you know, the, this channel really did start as, uh, as, you know, building, modifying all that stuff, me learning how to do that. This was actually just a normal Telecaster when it started. It was a Glary normal telecaster with the lipstick pickup here and just a regular old you know tele uh pickup down there and now it's uh two humbuckers coil split and you know no bigsby on it before i said well let's try a bigsby burn the neck because i wanted to try that that's why i'm i'm a super proponent proponent for uh these glary guitars because i've thrown everything at, at this thing and it's still it's fun to play. it's still fun to play it still stays in tune um even with the bigsby you know what happened with the bigsby very strange on that one i i th this thing was so tinny even when i got the humbuckers on it it was like it, it was still you know super i mean it was a little bit more than than just a regular telly you know twang it was it was mm, twang on steroids and it was Wah! and um what that what freaked me out was the, when I put the Bigsby on, it mellowed the whole thing out. I was super nice. It was a very nice surprise. It, but it, it was just like, it, it took it from to, oh, that's nice. So what I'm trying to ask here is, uh, you know, do, where do you guys, the guys, the, the, the y'all guy, and I say guys because I use that, I've always used that as a term for men, women, all children, everybody all together. You put it all guys, just got, maybe it's because I'm from, you know, the East Coast and use guys, use, yes, use. I try to get rid of that. I actually like y'all from the South. It's weird, but you know, their contraction actually is a contraction. Use, the hell is that? Weirdos from the Northeast being weird. And yeah, sometimes I can't get back into that New Jersey accent. Like my mom said, when you're mad or you're tired, it sounds like you're from Brooklyn. I never, I, I, my, both my grandfathers and my father were born in Brooklyn. Me, not so much. I was born on the Navasink River in New Jersey. Huh. Mm. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this video. I, I, it's basically asking if y'all could find it in your heart to see about giving this old cancer patient here, you know, who's trying to change his life basically um, and it's hard it's it's super hard sometimes for for me to do this and uh you know uh, every day i come here and with um I, I with the things that i have to deal with and 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 w the strangest part about it is it, the pain is becoming part of my life because i have stopped telling people about 
the pain in my feet just because to me it's this is my reality i was told by a neurologist that even you know if they found something that was um physically changed in my brain there's nothing they can do about this so it's basically you know i, I gotta deal with it so to me there's no pain anymore it's just this is what i have to deal with this is reality so i've started leaving it out of is there any pain today no man because to me there, it's not it's just what i deal with but every single day when i stand up and my right foot is worse than my left foot but uh it's it hurts man and it, it is it painful yeah and every once in a while i do get a pain in my butt and it's it's because that's where the cancer is it's rectal cancer and it's poking out or it was and it still is a little bit um but it really feels like a long time ago i had this kind of premonition that it was just gonna fall off it was just gonna like the chemo was gonna dry it up and it's gonna fall out and it still feels like feels like that more and more every day and i've had pain that i hadn't had before um but to me it's all just it drying up and it's gonna go away and i'm gonna be better and it's gonna be soon so you know that's why I welcome the chemo sessions, strange as it seems. And I'll get a break after this one because we're gonna take pictures. So you always you always gotta have a little bit of time. It's like three or four weeks. Um, they, they wanna give the chemo, because the chemo keeps working afterwards. So they wanna give it a little bit of time to, to keep working, to give you know your best shot of, of good pictures. Um, and I agree with that. And it also gets me time to be back, get back to normal, or my new normal, whatever my normal is turning into, which is kind of why, you know, you know, following along on this channel would be weird, you know? It's almost like Ed TV sometimes, but just in, in the snippets of, of me coming out here and saying, all right, I'm turning this on and, you know, playing something. Wake up, baby, smell at me. Sun is shining and that wind's going free. Oh, I got to thinking, who was the day? The silver bird can take us away. why that song popped in my head i haven't played it in a long time and I've, i'm rusty on it actually apparently so uh fly away by blackfoot single boys that are out of town looking for them pretty girls hanging around man on the radio Let's do it today. Come on, woman, now let's get it away. Tired of working. Feels like for nothing. Why can't we all live for today? So loaded now, hell, I can't even think. But uh, this this channel is also about me learning how to play the guitar because to be, in my mind, to be uh, either a guitar tech or a luthier or a, a guitar modifier or a builder or whatever you want to call it, you actually have to learn to play the guitar. So And I couldn't before, so I had to change that too. Like I said, this is me completely changing everything, man. This is my brain exploding. I used to, I used to be super, super good with words. Um, now I can't remember them. It's just, it's so bizarre because it is like one extreme to the other. It was, it was all words and stuff before. And I could not remember chord patterns. I could not remember songs. I could not remember, you know, um, I started hearing things. I mean, one day I just went, how do you get from that? Once was nothing, baby, held all of my hand. Now I reach, kiss your lips. Don't, just don't mean a thing. That's cold chocolate, baby. That's a drag. That's cold shot, dude. Mm. 
So this whole thing has just been bizarre, but it's kind of worked. And I've talked for a while now, and this has all been a commercial for subscribing. So I think I'm going to stop now and say, uh, always look up, man. He's there for you. Have a great day. Peace.